Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, dogs, and cats, and welcome back to Calm Down Level Up, and welcome back to Supreme Ruler. I haven't actually played Supreme Ruler in a little while. I've been super into Hearts of Iron 4 recently, which is quite different, but actually kind of similar. I mean, obviously they look kind of similar, but the playing is very different, so um, if my if I'm a little off today while I'm playing as Moscow, and of course today we're going to be taking over Volograd, um, we're going to be taking this whole strip so we our country kind of becomes a wall of Eastern Europe uh, going into Asia and stuff and then of course we're I think these these countries have some pretty big armies so um, we're not gonna be going after the Ukraine or uh, Northern Caucasus for a long time until we've actually acquired like a larger armory after going out this way and taking over Siberia and stuff um, and of course Kazakhstan as well uh, Kazakhstan you were a SSR so you will join us okay you stupid Kazakhstanis. Jeez. But yeah, welcome back, guys. Um, welcome back to Supreme Ruler. Um, we are, of course, making the USSR great again. Um, that is our goal. We are going to capture all of the Soviet states. If you are a new subscriber and have not seen the series yet, um, make sure to go check out the rest of the series. I think this is only, like, part three or something, so hasn't been too much out yet. We've We started out as this uh moscow area right here um basically the world has been broken the united states is broken you know canada everything is split up into different countries the world is shattered but now we are rebuilding the ussr and of course last time the war with belarus was very brutal um we lost a lot of troops on both sides so um our our numbers aren't looking the best right now we're only at about like 200 total uh looks like we have a bunch of reserves for two for some reason um but yeah we'll only pull those out if we need to i don't think volograd will be that bad volograd definitely has an army but it's not going to be like super horrible you know tough fighting um the weird thing is their capital actually isn't volograd even though their country is named volograd um their capital is over here in samara so we're gonna have to go over here all the way across the country and take samara and um it's a little dangerous because you have to cross these bridges and of course, bridges are really horrible for moving tons of units over if it's not adequately defended. So I think um, it'll be easier to find like a spot early to cross the bridge or to cross the river. Like up here would be a bad idea though because there's like no supply up here and our guys would be just drudging through here. Um, and then all they would have to do is park some units here and they'd they'd just blow all our, all our guys out of the trees. They'd they'd all be dead. So I think we're gonna have to capture this whole side of the river. Um, at least, or at least parts of it, like capture up to the river up here, capture all these cities. Um, so they're just pushed to the other side and then, um, we'll constantly bomb them so that they can't attack us while we try to move over the bridges. Um, the other thing is that the bridges can actually, if there's a lot of fighting around the bridges, um, the bridges can actually get destroyed and, uh, the units won't be able to cross anymore. So we need to be careful about that. Um, but I think other than that, we're doing pretty good. There's a tank here that should probably go join the rest of them okay i don't think volograd i mean if definitely volograd is expecting this uh, how could they not be expecting this it's, it's pretty obvious what moscow is doing right now uh they just didn't know when so they've got a ton of units driving around here let's be careful let's save because you know volograd could definitely just kill us pretty fast <laughs> shit so we gotta be careful with volograd um we have a fairly okay air force uh, it's about like 45 a little bit more like 47 um around there so we're doing okay with our air force it's mostly jets and stuff so we can do some nice blitzkrieg action get some get nice blitzkrieg action going actually we have a lot of helicopters too which isn't the best but um that doesn't quite matter so we're gonna get ready we are going to i don't think we're gonna blitzkrieg here we're just going to start bombing their shit out there until they attack us, uh, declare war. And we will start hitting their units as they are um, not defended and they're in our territory. That's kind of how we've been doing it in the past. It seemed to seems to have worked so far. Okay, Volograd. Oh shit, there we go. And that did not work because it looks like Western Urals has units here and those were Western Urals units. Why? Why Western Urals? Why are you helping Volograd? What have they done for you? Let's hit right here. There we go. Oh shit. No, the Northern Caucasus is like 
shooting down a bunch of our planes. Okay, don't fly through Northern Caucus. Jeez. Don't fly through their territory. We just lost like four planes from that. Um, so that's not a good idea to, to bomb from right here because our guys cross through Northern Caucus territory and our shit gets shot down. I think our I think those were mostly helicopters, hopefully, that only got shot down. I hope they weren't actual units. Or, I mean, actual, like, jets and stuff. This was a... I, I mean, I'm th I think that's a helicopter, I hope. Okay, it looks like they're advancing a few units here. Let's let's uh let's bomb them. Don't cross into Western Urals this time. Okay, that was successful. Killed a few units there. Romania is stationed some units up here too. Those damn Romanians, dude. Okay, they moved a ton more units here. It looks like a like there's quite a bit of artillery here, so I think we could probably get away with bombing that, and bombing it quite effectively since none of it is really entrenched okay let's do it oh man we just obliterated that army there nothing survived except for of course western Urals units which we can't actually attack because we're not at war with them that would be a very bad idea to go go to war with western Urals right now they have a pretty menacing looking army except they're shipping it all off somewhere they're probably like are they trying to invade someone let's let's pause the game for a sec who are they who are they at war with They're at war with Austria. Okay, so are they trying to invade Austria by sea? That doesn't make any sense. I guess if they get all their units like killed off or something, that that'd be good for us because we needed to invade them later on anyways. So actually, they're probably next uh, because we can just go really fast from from our territory we're capturing here in Volograd over to UFA uh, Western Urals. So. Um, I think you, the U.S. New Rolls will be next. Um, then we'll like probably capture like Kazakhstan and these easy ones out here. Build up our army as strong as we can before we capture like the Ukraine and Northern Caucasus. Let's airstrike. This looks like mostly artillery. Yeah, that'll all die really fast. Boom. Oh, it might have been some anti-air too, which is which wasn't the best. Looks like some of their um, air units kind of came in and infiltrated as well, or came in and like defended. Um, so, what are we going to do here? We have our units on the border, our three towns. Do we want to start moving in? They still have quite a few units just, like, rummaging around. Let's, and they're kind of approaching fast. Let's get our air force here to, like, tell them to bug off. Get out of here. So, we're just uh, completely stopping them from being able to defend themselves right now. We're trying to pick her away at their defenses. Oh, this would be a nice spot to bomb right here, too. All of their exposed units we are going to be attacking and bombing. Trying to sink as many of them down as we can. Eastern Siberia eliminated. Um, oh, shit. North Korea, come on, man. I was hoping you wouldn't do that, but I guess it's whatever. Oh, look. These guys are at war with each other. So we could probably just capture one. It won't, you know, won't take that long. Okay. I think we've, uh... Okay, yeah, look at that. Their units. Once they attack, they're just immediately getting killed. Oh, shit, look at that. We've captured some spy intel from... From Slovenia. Oh, get out of here, Slovenia. Jeez. <laughs> you little bastard. Oh, boom. We caught those injured units, too, and we're hitting the other stuff. Saratov is gonna fall pretty fast once we attack there. Volograd, too. Okay. They're the the only units that are really left on their side on this side of the river, there's there's a major spot here over here in whatever that like however you pronounce that, and there's a little bit over here in Nozhovarbarsk. Or and and Cherbarskri. Oh jeez. I'm sorry I'm butchering that, definitely. Um But let's try to bomb whatever still they're keeping over on this side of the river. Send him the message, hey, this side of the river is ours. And we're going to hit this one next. Oh, there's Romanian and Ukrainian troops there. We are so dead uh, whenever the Ukraine declares war on us. So just letting you know, I might not actually be able to finish this this series if the Ukraine um, just declares war on us. Or like even Poland. Poland would kick our ass.
Okay, I think we're ready to start approaching into the country. Okay, these positions we captured are very easily defendable because they are airports, so we can station planes in them. So if anyone attacks them, the planes will immediately come out and actually attack. Okay, now these guys we are going to advance to this town here, Penza. The ultimate goal is Volograd. For, for this side of the river, for this part of the war. Oh shit. Oh no, 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 oh god. Okay, stop crossing into Ukraine territory. I thought the U or Northern Caucasus. I thought the Ukraine was like coming after us. I think they probably shot down a couple of our jets. Okay, no, we do not want to declare war on them. That would be a bad idea. We'll just build new jets, okay? <laughs> okay, we're sending a, a group of um, units that were actually uh, just like hanging around. They weren't doing anything. Um, we're sending them up here to this town. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Um, to try to take this, try to get this, this area um, under control up here too. Okay, so they are responding quite heavily up there. Let's, let's keep up the bombing effort up there. Cool, we've taken the area. This side of the river is soon going to be ours. We just need to take the major cities on the, on the coast here. We've taken some small cities. We're going to combine these forces and we're going to go over here and take Saratov. Entrench. There we go. Boom. Saratov is now ours. Oh, we got a ton of units over here. Let's use these guys to actually move in and attack Volograd. Because Volograd is very undefended right now. We're running out of uh, jets, too. They're slowly taking damage. We're going to keep using them as much as we can, though. Oh, crap. Don't fly, through, don't fly through neutral territory there. Oh, God. Yeah, they're all getting shot. Shot down. I think Samara is pretty much just wide open at this point. We've defeated most of their military. Uh, we've captured a lot. Look at this. Like, right here on this side of the river, Volograd is the part we've captured over here on this side of the river. Uh, Vol Volzhinsky, <laughs> shit, uh, is the one that they still have control of. Jeez, it's like, it's like that one book. I can't remember. Jeez, don't know what I'm trying to say. But we're gonna we're gonna roll over here to Samara pretty fast and try to end this war. On our way, the road to Samara. It's almost it's almost over, boys. We're almost there, finally. Volograd, you fought well, but uh, not good enough gotta be said Samara is ours the war is over adios Volograd you are now part of the great Moscow Empire or should I say the USSR <laughs> shit okay thank you very much for watching guys this war is now over but a new war shall arise actually this is just but one battle of the war oh shit look at this Turkey's taken over Syria Kind of looking like Turkey wants to become uh, something bigger than it is. Something bigger than it already is. All right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you like this, make sure to leave a like. Um, make sure to, yeah, actually, especially make sure to leave a like this time because YouTube's algorithms have changed and my, my videos don't get advertised as much as they used to unless they get likes. So thank you very much for watching, guys. If you like, make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys all next time, probably when we fight this beast of a country up here. Uh, this is Western Urals. Alright, peace!